All right, everybody, welcome. Finally, we have a patch for Star Citizen. Oh, God, that was a long drought. Um, obviously, look at the end of the day, I figured they were working on something which was stopping them from bringing out a patch. Um, I actually thought it'd be the heartbeat. Spoiler alert, heartbeat's not in, not yet. But there was a lot of other things that they went through and did. And, of course, I am joined here by my friend Ferrets. Say hello, Ferrets. I'm eating chicken. Ferrets is eating chicken, everybody. And, yeah. Um, so, obviously, I need to put your icon back on the screen. There you are. And we're back. All right. So, uh, obviously, guys, we are in Star Citizen Alpha 3.15.0 and PTU uh, 7835451. Database reset, yes. Long-term persistence is disabled. Pledge copied and enabled. Starting credits, 15 million UEC. I also noticed, too, all my guns and everything that was at M1 station is now over at New Babbage, which is, hmm, weird. But regardless, we'll talk about all that in a sec. So, testing focus is obviously our hospitals, healing and active status, uh, star left to, star left to Hercules, Bombs, infiltrate and defend missions, loot generation, Orison version 2, and arena commander revamped. Known issues. New Babbage common, uh, Commons is missing many assets and the bridge to connect the domes. This will make locations there not accessible, so you may want to avoid the area for now. That said, I managed to go from the Habs to Spaceport without any problems. So, yeah. Uh, ground vehicles and initial spawn point. Uh, with the latest update, your initial spawn point chooses the location of your ship. If you have ground vehicles, you might want to install or, or set that to a place where there's ground vehicles available, like New Babbage, which they just told us not to go to. So, you know, weird. Uh, after server crash, attempting to reconnect may result in infinite loading screen. That doesn't happen anymore. When you try and reconnect after a 30k, it just goes straight back to the main menu. It's just like it just cancels out. Um, so that's a better option because obviously if you forget, you're just going to be sitting there clicking the button and not stalling the game, so to speak. Just remember to go back to the main menu, then re-log back into the game. Should be fine. Player items lost on death, we all know about. Uh, feature items, gameplay, inv uh, inventory polish pass. So, uh, further style and performance tweaks have been made for all aspects of the industry system, updated a filter system to display tabs to show quicker items sorting along with the original option for more granular filtering. Implemented a new interaction dots and numbers points for consumables. So uh, grenades, men pens, magazines. Added capacity uh, display for consumables, magazines, you know, etc. Uh, uh, on the, uh, yeah, for consumables, uh, slot fill empty armor slots instead. Added swap option to item content menu to remove the currently equipped item and replace with another. Updated the inventory to not display if the inventory have, uh, they have opens. Sorry, say that again. Updated the inventory to not display if the inventory they have open moves far enough away. Huh? I don't get that. Added capacity value to the description tool of the items of storage space, such as backpacks and chest items. Updated the inventory page, arrow button to be a little bit clearer. Added interaction options to close world loot containers. So, we do have a look at what this looks like. And here it is here. So, um, I'll actually, I'll send this to you first too, because I don't think I've actually sent you this yet. So, as you guys can see on that, and as Fez can see now, basically what it does is it goes through and there's your armor and your, your pouches, your ammo capacity and whatnot. You have these little options down here, which I think is a far better option. Um, obviously here with obviously the your options, your quick alert, your quick alert at the top, quick snaps at the top. So you can obviously click on filters, armor, clothing, weapons, ammo, blah, blah, blah. You can also click on custom, which will bring up the usual menu on the side, which allows you to go through and select multiple options like you could before. It's just these are like the quick launch sort of stuff. Um, so at the end of the day, it's basically showing off what it looks like. 
And the biggest thing, obviously, is these dots here. Plus, now they've also added animation into the icons. So that when you're hovering over something, it will actually rotate to show you what it actually looks like. And apparently, according to our ferrets, that is really, really cool. Wait, what now? We're talking about the animated icons. Yes. Really cool. It is actually pretty cool. I, mm. uh... I'm thinking it may be a test bed for, um... For, um... What you call it? For, uh, the future... Shop and the Patreons... Update, I think. Yeah, Shop and Patreons, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Like, uh, they're... They're gonna have... Like three D hollow views of the items that they have for sale. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Also, I know that Benyu Merchantman also has icons and stuff, and images of like items and stuff that are for sale on their on their ramps heading into the shops. So they might even use the icons for there as well, the animation for that as well. Mm -hmm. So it's probably all leading towards that too. All right. Law system update update the most uh, the most crime stat one crimes to be misdemeanors, which will stay, uh, say the grand crime stat, but now be paid off at the fine terminals. So obviously, if it's just a crime stat one, no big deal. You just have to go and pay the fine. Uh, down state polish pass updated down UI to be clearly visible when down. Increased the revival service beacon reward to fifteen thousand from up to ten thousand. Mainly because no one was probably doing it. Yeah. Uh, so healing and medical polish pass. This is a big thing. Disabled tractor beaming, healing and dragging, uh, drugging of other players in general green zones. Drug effect balance pass and adjusted effects of resurger to equate more aggressive towards BDL, which is the blood drug level, decay, and other drugs duration. You are no longer able to heal someone when they're in a green zone. I don't like this. I know a lot of people were complaining about the, the, the trolling that was going on with people being shot up with drugs while they're in, a, in a, an armistice zone. Personally, I think it should have stayed because at the end of the day, we are trying to make a simulator, right? In real life, I, if I wanted to, I could go into a shopping centre and jam someone with a needle full of drugs. Right? Sure, I'll get arrested for it. But guess what? In Star Citizen, you get arrested for it too. So, yeah. Um, I think it should have stayed, but regardless. Uh, TVI QOL updates. Added options to heavy... Uh, have a velocity indicator always on, fading, or always off. Body dragging polish. This is another big thing. Uh, made some tweaks to body dragging to make it behave more consistent and less jittery. Uh, we noticed this when it first came out. I tried to drag Fez upstairs and it was a nightmare. It really was. Uh, he was bouncing all over the place. He ended up dying from a concussion, I think it was. Uh, because of his body jerking around the old place. So, yeah. So, uh, made intro and rehire UGF missions resharable. They've also added a small reputation penalty for failing or abandoning a delivery intro or rehire mission. Ships and vehicles, a 400i polish pass, a landing gear reverted back to its previous lower state. So, so it's not being so high now they took out the high the lowering of it they took out the higher they made it higher uh door panels new ui removed the light buttons where not needed and labeling locations cortec made several ai sync improvements to help reduce them teleporting short distances they've also optimized for planet terrain and ocean tessellation based on screen size so we have some major bug fixes, and this is obviously a big list, so we'll just quit, could we jump through it. Fix the bugs where all players on the server would have their controls frozen when one player surrendered to the pilot security. 
fix an issue causing the main uh, main interface to have larger buttons and text and intended. I did notice on one of my one of my patches that I uh, one of the uh, times I booted it up that was there. Um, everything was basically zoomed in. Um, try on try on option for mannequin in stores should no longer delete current equipped gear. Fixed an issue causing players not to be able to place other down players in the medical beds. So you won't fall through the beds now when you put them on the gurney, which is cool. Ships on landing pads should no longer end up in an unknown state for location after their ships stored. Never really had that. So, but yeah, had it in a couple of patches before, but not in this last one. Uh, many of the wheelchairs, walkers and gurneys with hospitals should no longer spawn in collision uh, with geometry and, uh, and consistently making loud bangings, rattlings. That normally happened over at my Microtech, I believe. Um, haven't seen that yet, but obviously we only played for five minutes before making this vid. Infantry UI should no longer cause several items to share the same inventory icon when moving multiple items. Items should now correctly save in the player's infantry after the player loots a crate. Greycrack Rock personal inventory should now open correctly with the interchanging uh, interacting with it. UI should no longer sometimes close immediately when looting a player NPC inventory. Fixed, I definitely had that in the last patch. Fixed an issue causing healing gun, healing cards, and sometimes not to close. Fixed an issue that allow players to temporarily heal and administer drugs to corpses via the advanced mode on the medical gun. I did not know we had Resident Evil. I am so upset I didn't even try that. Huh. Um, BEHR telescopes, uh, the size 2 times 4 sight, should no longer shoot straight up in the air when looking down sights. Thank God. Fixed an issue causing the switch fire mode button to only work once in manned turrets. Uh, so mining nodes will no longer drop out of personal inventory instead of the ore. So mining nodes will no longer drop out of personal inventory instead of the ore. I don't get that, but anyway. 600i cargo elevator should no longer be misaligned. Drake, but, uh, Dragonfly should no longer be out of position on the HUD. Player corpse should no longer disappear after dying in certain locations and therefore will not be lootable. I've definitely noticed that. Down players should no longer bounce, spin out of control when dragged over uneven surfaces and ramps. Uh, players should now be able to interact with the inventory again after closing the external inventory of the Gladius or Sabre. Clear out sight, clear, clear criminal nest should now spawn all criminal AI correctly so that the missions can be completed fully. Players should no longer be able to store weapon attachments via equipment prompt without having an, a valid inventory, which caused them to lose the item permanently. Prospector ladder and door should now open correctly. Hallelujah. Saved lim uh, Luminant and the new... Uh, saved... Saved Luminati at uh, New Babbage. What the hell is saved limonet? Missiles, uh, missiles armed. Uh, sorry, missiles armed. Missile count can loop. Should now persist sessions. The missile counter should no longer loop back to one, regardless of the loop option being set to no. Uh, fixed an issue causing polygon spike to occasionally appear around Lovell and Hurston. RSI constellation Taurus should no longer have. Debug text on the rental kiosk. Target velocity should now display correctly and now and no longer always display as zero meters per second. Toby glaze tracking should now be able to use without activating head tracking sources. Missile pickup in arena commander should now refill correctly. Well, not in a missile operator mode. Technical, they fixed 12 site crashes, two server crashes, and a memory leak. So, out of all that, Fez. Thoughts, opinions? Yeah. Um, well, 
the one thing uh, that everyone is uh, is obviously talking about is the fact that they disabled the medical guns. Yep. And everything else in in um the armistice zones. Yeah. Well, that's going to fix the problem for now, but hmm. the thing is though when they uh when they to go and really move the um Armistice zone. The Armistice zone, yeah. Uh hmm. we're gonna have the same uh, a problem. Yep. To so. be honest, I don't think it should have been removed. To be honest. Like I said, you can walk down the street and you can you can take a, a needle and drug someone up in the street. Now whether or not you'll you'll walk away without a whole bunch of people pounding your face into the concrete or get arrested or later the cops showing up and arresting you, that's a different situation, right? But if I was inclined, I could walk down the street, jam someone with a needle and drug them up. All right? Now, the argument that we hear all the time is, is that Chris is trying to make a universe simulator. He is that they are making it as real as possible and then dining it back to fun, right? I think having someone drug you while you're in, well, a um, in like Grimhex or or wherever it may be, I think that was completely realistic. I I, I was over at M One earlier today when I was streaming, and person was flying using his his tractor tool. And was trying to knock people out with a gurney bed that he attracted. Hmm. Uh -huh. To be honest, was it realistic? Yeah. I I think it I think it should have stayed in the in the game, but I get why they removed it. Like at the end of the day, you know, there's there was a lot of griefing going on about it. I get it. But yeah. You know. I don't know. Any thoughts? Anything else? I can't wait for 3.15.1. Mm. Redeemer. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And look, at the end of the day, obviously, when it comes to the bug fixing and stuff like that's on the screen, obviously, at the end of the day, I like a lot of it. Um, I don't really have any big problems with anything. I look, Even the, the whole removing the drug option, I get it. I really do get why they've done it. Um, but look at the end of the day, as for the UI, I think the UI looks nice. I, I, I don't necessarily like the hot tool bar up the top. <sighs> yeah, I liked it the way it was. Um, I do like the fact that they're putting in the icons for the animation and the, and then being able to rotate and stuff. And I do like the, the new belts for the character for like the one, two, three, four for your like med pens and stuff. I like that. But... Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Apart from that, anything else you want to add before we uh, jump off? I think that's it. No worries, guys. Obviously, I, I am streaming on Twitch more regularly now. Um, I was streaming earlier today for like seven hours. Um, also, Ferret's details are in the description below. So, obviously, feel free to go and smack him on the YouTube button. Give him that subscribe. And also, even go through and, and also go through and, and follow him on Twitch. Um, make sure you turn on notifications for both of us and stuff like that apart from that guys obviously let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below do you think at the end of the day you liked the infantry system now or did you like it the way it was what are your thoughts on the medical gun do you think at the end of the day people should be able to drug people up at Grim Hex or Port Alazar or whatever it may be or do you think it's better the fact that they've turned it off for the green zones let us know what your thoughts are and we'll discuss Apart from that, guys, obviously this video has been helpful. Smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, we will see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Say bye, ferrets. Mm. Goodbye. <laughs> that was ferrets saying bye, bye, buddy. Have a good night. Enjoy.